Hi friends, Amy Seifert here, speaker and author of Grace Looks Amazing on You. And today's verse comes from the Proverbs, verse three, and it says, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. I love the Proverbs. They have such wonderful and wise instruction for living well on this earth. But we have to remember something about the Proverbs. They're not promises, they're principles. And when we look at this verse today, the principle here is when we commit our work to the Lord, God is committed to work for our good. So does this verse then promise money or promotions or success, or we won't ever have any hardship in our work? Well, no, God never guarantees that it will be easy here on earth, but he does say that even when situations are hard and are not good, God is working for our good. I remember years ago, I committed to a rest day, a rhythm of work and rest, and I decided on taking a Sabbath each week. And as my kids were upstairs napping, I was on the couch napping, having just a long, lovely rest. And I woke up to a text that said, hey, we're really looking forward to you speaking in a few days. Can't wait. And I had completely forgotten about this teaching. It wasn't on my calendar. And I I sat straight up. I wiped that nap drool from my face. And I thought, what am I going to do? I don't have a teaching ready. And I thought, do I scramble or do I Sabbath? Do I make this talk or do I, what am I going to do? And I felt like God said to me, do you trust me? Do you trust me for your work? Friends, I'm so thankful that when we commit our work to God, he will establish our plans. It was hard, but I decided to stay resting and to trust him to put whatever talk he needed to together. And the minute I did that, he reminded me of something I'd already written. And I went to this blog post and it was the teaching that I needed. My teaching had already been established by him months before. Friends, it's so beautiful to commit our work to God and to see how he will establish our plans. So today, take a moment at your workplace, wherever that is. Maybe it's at a desk or in a truck or cleaning bathrooms or on the floor with toddlers and say, God, I commit my work to you today. And then ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit so that you would honor him in your work, that you would be a person of integrity, that you would do what is right, that you would have compassion, and then keep your eyes open for how God will establish your plans.